positive and negative integral exponent of a rational number. Okay? So what are we looking at here? Basically, what do you remember? What's a rational number? A rational number is a number of a form A upon B. Okay? And what are we looking at here? We are looking at positive and negative integral exponent. So let's say we raise this rational number to the power n. Okay? Now n can take a positive value or n can be a negative integer. n is a integer. So we will see how do the property of rational number fare when they are treated with a positive or a negative integral as an exponent. So let's say you have 3 upon 7 to the power 2. Okay. Now what does this mean? 3 upon 7 to the power 2 basically means if you let's say you take a is equal to 3 upon 7. Right. So what is this number? This number is nothing but a square. And what's the meaning of a square? a square can be written as a into a. Right? So 3 upon square can be written as 3 upon 7 into 3 upon 7. Right? Or you can also write this as 3 into 3 upon 7 into 7. Right? But what is this? This is nothing but 3 to the power 1, 3 to the power 1, 7 to the power 1, 7 to the power 1. Or, simplifying it, we can just write this as 3 to the power 1 plus 1 divided by 7 to the power 1 plus 1. Or 3 to the power 2 upon 7 to the power 2. Right? So we basically conclude that for any rational number a upon b raised to the power n, we have a to the power n why? 3 to the power 2. 3 is what? A. 2 is what? N. Divided by B to the power N. Right? Similarly, you can also write, let's say for example, you had 4 upon 13 to the power 3. This can be written as 4, which is the numerator raised to the power 3, divided by the denominator raised to the power 3. Or let's say you had 6 upon 17 to the power 4. This would mean 6 to the power 4 divided by 17 to the power 4. Right? Now what if any of these numbers is negative? It doesn't make a difference. So instead of 6 upon 17, if you would have had minus 6 to the power 17 to the power 3, this would be equal to minus 6 to the power 3 divided by 17 to the power 3. Now this was the case insofar as positive integral exponent is concerned. <coughs> Let us see if n is basically a negative integer. So let's say you have 8 upon b to the power minus n. Okay? Let's take an example. Let's say you have 3 upon 7 raised to the power minus 3. Right? So what would this mean? Now we just saw that a upon b to the power n is equal to a to the power n, b to the power n. Right? So let's say for example, your n here is equal to minus 3. So this basically means 3 to the power minus 3 upon 7 to the power minus 3. Right? Or you can also write this as 3 to the power minus 3 into 1 upon 7 to the power minus 3. Right? Now, we basically know that if you have a to the power minus or whatever that might be, minus to the power minus n, this basically is equal to 1 upon a to the power n. This is what we learnt in the previous videos and our lectures in earlier classes. 
if we apply this rule then 3 to the power minus 3 can actually be written as 1 upon 3 to the power 3 so we make it as the denominator and 1 as the numerator and the power become positive similarly in this case we change the denominator to the numerator change this power to positive and write it like this or this simply becomes 7 to the power 3 upon 3 to the power 3 but if you compare this we had a to the power 3 b is equal to 3 and n is equal to minus 3 right or actually n is equal to 3 it's just that it's a negative power for which we have already reversed this so if we compare this equation with what we have here we can easily write this as b to the power a or b upon a to the power n because this can be written as 7 upon 3 to the power n 3 right so effectively if you have a rational number with a negative power that or let me use a different color is equal to the reverse in the sense the numerator becomes the denominator denominator becomes a numerator and the power changes to positive right that's the answer